Right, let's move on to item 10, the reserve revocation report for Beds Road in Otara. Welcome team. Thank you. Reasonably straightforward, I think, now. Um, Chair, um, this is a um, recommendation to um, approve um, the request, forwarding of a request to the Minister of Conservation to uplift the status of reserve on 129R Bairds Road, Otara, um, otherwise um, known as the Q Lane grounds. Okay. Shall we just take the report as read? I know there's been a lot of discussion and just ask questions if people have questions or comments by those in the know. Mm, Councillor sure. Philip Bainer. Thank you, Chair. Just, just one question in regards to the report, um, and that is with Nati Tata. So the options, and I've read the uh, attached in the letter. So the options available to them are, are, are obviously when it goes out to the market or whatever we end up doing, they have, as everybody else has, the right to, to purchase it. And am I correct in, in that saying that? That is correct, that? yes. But we, um, as part of our engagement um, process with uh, Manafenua, we, we give Manafenua groups um, advance notice. So uh, we write yep. to them so, in, advance, so that... in advance of the property going onto the market. Yeah, so, so the question is yes. They, they, they have the right as everybody else. It's not as uh, uh, first right of refusal. No, not first right of refusal. No. Okay, Chair, um, yeah. You okay, yep, yeah, thank you. Okay, all right. <coughs> Councillor Collins. Uh, thanks, Chair. I'm just wondering if you've had any further communication with the Altara Business Association. I note that they, their objection still stands to the degree that they manage or assist in managing that car park area at the moment have have they changed their position outside of what no, is no they've not we we have engaged with the um otara business in, um, association and indeed the other objector and um but we have not uh, they have not changed their position their their their, their withdrawal is conditional, conditional. Okay. Chair, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll move it, um, and I know that the Otara Papatoi Toi Local Board have, have endorsed the, 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 the revocation, Second at and, and this is why I ended up asking the question around Nati oh, and I've read. You cleared up. Yeah. Thank you. Up. Yeah, I know a lot of work and a lot of discussion has gone into yeah. trying to resolve this, so thank you. Moved by Councillor Philip Aina, seconded Councillor Cooper. I'll put that. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know this has been a, a complicated one. So that's number 10. Number 11 is revocation of 32 Harbour happy to move that, Madam Chair. Happy to move, Councillor yeah. Cooper. Anyone happy to second that? I'm happy to I second just that. just comment on it, Madam yeah. Chair, and the reason I'm happy to move it is because we had already resolved to revoke and dispose of this um, in Waitakere um, City Council days and it just kind of, like a few of the things, just dropped down the hole um, on amalgamation. So, um, and the local board support it. Yep. Um, it. It's actually a really lovely residential area so I think we'll get good money for that and two nice houses can be built on it or something yep. like that. So, um, yeah, thank At you. At the moment um, it's just a little triangle that we mow. Yes, there, there was one suggestion though, Madam Chair, at the time from the Henderson Community mm. Board, whether this is possible, um, that a little strip be put there on the corner for people to sit on because it's a fair long walk from the shops right along Beach Road and there is um, a retirement village just up the road which I've just asked to have a whole lot of footpath fixed because the little mobility scooters are tripping up on it. Um, but yeah, so if that was a possibility, you know, I mean, it, it might not work in terms of the best um, and highest um, use of the land, but um, if that is a possibility to have a little something like that, it may not, but um, that's just a thought for you to take away. With the road corridor returning to council, we may be able to look at that on our boom. 
Yeah, there isn't a boom there, Madam Chair. The boom's on the other Further. side. There is. But anyway. But people could walk around the corner. They could. Okay. Westy yep. discussion. That's all well, I need to say. Thank you. No one else got passionate view on that? No? I'll put that. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Carried. Thank you. Thank you both. Appreciate the work on that. Um, 12 is our... Oh, sorry. Which one did you... Oh, right, yeah. Mace, did you want to just mention the, um, the Enterprise Booking, very excitingly named Enterprise Booking Memo, which I know everyone has read in depth? Yep. There will be a test. No, I'm just kidding. Do you want to just touch on it, Mace? Because it, it's one of those things that it's quite good to draw people's attention to and they can talk to you about it. Certainly, thank you, Madam Chair. Members, um, the enterprise booking system has Excuse been. Excuse me, boys. Can we just have a? Honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just, I, you know, there's a point at which we should just break up the bad kids on the. It's these it two, is. Madam it Chair. is. I know. It's always him. We could send each of them to a corner, Madam Chair. <laughs> I know. Oh, don't tempt me. It's a long way Sorry. <laughs> So the Mate, first question for you. the boys is, oh no. Sorry, it, Have they even read, which memo are we talking about, Deputy Mayor? Uh, you've, no, 12. Just, <laughs> so, Madam Chair, that, um, Back to you, Mose. The enterprise booking system is, uh, has been a project to uh, shift to customer demand of having more online accessibility into the services we provide, and in particular, our camping and batches and um, bookable sites on regional parks. But, but also on sports fields, and I think most importantly, an integrated approach to uh, event booking locations across the family, um, including AT, Screen Auckland, Panuku, um, arts, community and events, and, and parks. So providing people easy access to the services that, that Council provide. Just to give an idea of the breadth, uh, regional parks were open access to 23 batches, four lodges, 24 campgrounds, and 18 vehicle-based campgrounds and 27 bookable sites. Um, so over 10,000 bookings um, across that portfolio of assets and services. Uh, on sports parks, um, now 98% of our bookings um, are coming through um, this, this system and we hope to increase the number of bookings that will come through for casual use. Quite an important uh, project for sports parks in that as the, the change in demand um, for different codes eventuates, we now have 50%, 56% of our demand coming from football and 28% from rugby and 16% from league uh, in winter sports. So that's been a continuing shift. And as we bring summer uh, bookings for sports fields online, it will enable us to get more people um, active their way on, on the sports fields that you provide um, for our for our community. So we have yeah, 840 sports fields, um, over 4.7 million participation um, events happening on those sports fields. How we program and manage that space so we make the most of our assets and get more people more active is quite, um, is quite important. People will still be able to go to a, a service centre and book um, if they're unable to do that online and get assistance from the call centre um, if, if they're having trouble with their online booking, but very much a customer-led um, approach to how we deliver our services. Have to answer any questions, Madam Chair. Okay. okay. We just wanted to make sure that people's attention was drawn to this because it may, you know, it may pop yeah. up yeah. and just good for people to know. Go to Mace with any questions, Councillor Cooper. You know, there's something I just read in, uh, I think it's North Harbour News last week, and it was a. It was a football team complaining about not getting as much, and I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, um, they weren't getting as much time as other teams and they felt that they should be allowed more time, etc, etc. So <coughs> how do we work that when we've got casual use? Because I mean, I mean, I don't think that people should just have an expectation as of right, but they're saying some sports fields seem to be able to be captured by one team and get lots of use. It might be historical. And now other teams are going, oh, we can't get much time at all. But their expectation is they get a couple of practice nights and they get a game. How, how are we managing that? Because I mean, yep. 
We're now going to complain to the paper. It doesn't look very good, even though my, as a reader, I just felt like, well, you know, you can't just expect everything on a plate when you're not even paying. But, um, yeah, so how do we deal with that stuff? And how come some teams can, and some parks seem to capture and others so, don't get what they like? Uh, Madam Chair, through you, Councillor Cooper, uh, we have for winter, <coughs> excuse me, capacity at currently 200 and 30,000 hours of capacity. Um, Utilisation uh, last winter was 190,000 hours. So there is some capacity in the system, but how it's allocated is a challenge. So the booking system is for the first time giving us greater ability to do that analysis. So in some cases, uh, certainly uh, sports with high demand, uh, football uh, over uh, sort of over utilising the fields, which is having an impact on the asset and also the experience, as Councillor Cooper's outlining, and other sports who have some decline in their demand for winter um, are perhaps underutilised. So the booking system will allow us to have upfront conversations with the codes, and we've started doing that with the regional sporting organisations, um, rugby, football, um, league, and, and able to present um, data which enables that conversation to be more principled. Just another question on, um, so that, when you talk about the gap in utilisation, does that factor in when we can't use fields like this one was going on about the fact that it wasn't sand slit and all the rest of it, which we know is really expensive, and so they couldn't use it a lot of times, does that factor in times when we basically close a field because it's too wet? Um, it, uh, no, it doesn't. So there are is, there are around 29,000 hours of closed. Um, yeah. So things. you'd add that on and then you'd go, so the actual hours available don't always reflect what's really available if we've got bad weather and we don't want to churn up our fields. That's right. Okay, no, that's... So, yeah, and, that's and the development programme for sports fields is addressing that, that issue. Um, the key area where that's a problem is in the southern part of the region. So through you, Madam Chair, so that means that once we move through that programme of upgrades, those hours available will become more real, if you know what I mean, more usable, so we won't get so much downtime. That's correct, so we'll be able to utilise our assets um, right. a, a, lot, yeah. a lot more. Thank and you, Madam Chair. Thank yeah, you, no, good, good questions, Councillor Cooper. It strikes me that it's probably useful for us, and I was just having a quick look to see if we've got a report program, but I think we do need a wider discussion on that whole issue of sports field capacity, utilisation, requirement, forward planning. I think there is a, a, I know the staff are working on this as we speak, so we will engage in that bigger discussion. Councillor Bartley. Um, thank you, Madam Chair, and, and apologies for lateness. Um, through you, if I could follow Councillor Cooper with her questioning. Uh, Will this um, enterprise booking system take into account those historic bookings? And is there ever going to be a time where those historic bookings are going to be reviewed? Because how do you start a historic booking? Hmm. Thank you. Good question. Uh, cer certainly that we're working, um, continue to work with the clubs and the, co and the sports codes to, make, to ensure that they still have access through their historic bookings, but over, over time, We'll be having those conversations about what their actual utilisation was against the book time on, on the sports fields and freeing up more of that, um, the capacity of their existing network of sports fields. So hopefully Thank that you. answers the question. <coughs> yeah, good question. Okay. Um, someone like to move the report be yep. received? Member of, uh, Councillor Philippina, Councillor. Happy Casey, I'll put that. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. Thanks, Mace. And I'll move the exclusion of public. We've just got two acquisitions.